Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the Bartholin glands, also called greater vestibular glands. These are the glands which are located in the superficial perineal pouch about 0.5 cm in diameter on each side of the vestibule of the vagina. Vestibule is the space between two labia minora, one on each side. They are small, round or oval reddish yellow glands flanking the vaginal orifice. They are composed of tubulo asinar tissue and lined by columnar epithelium. They secrete clear mucus or whitish mucus into the vestibule during sexual arousal. And the Bartholin glands are homologous to the bulbo gland of Cooper in male. Their secretion is mucus that lubricate the genital passages. And they are partly overlaid by the bulbs of the vestibule. The ducts open between the hymen and the labia minora on the posterior lateral aspect of the vestibule of the vagina. Okay. So here is the labia minora. This is the hymen and opening of the duct of greater vestibular gland is here on this side and that should be on that side. So it should be around 8 o'clock position and the one is around 4 o'clock position. Okay. So this is the greater vestibular gland. This is also called Bartholin gland. That is reddish yellow color, small P shape around 0.5 cm in diameter. Duct is around 2 cm and duct opens into the vestibule of the vagina, the jump in between the hymen and the labia minora. This is labia minora, this is the hymen. And this is the opening of the greater vestibular gland and this is the bulb of the vestibule so we got the greater vestibular gland its duct and that duct open between the hymen and the labia minora so we we'll go to the botulin cyst what is cyst? Cyst is the localized collection of fluid. Okay. Abscess. Abscess is the collection of pus. Okay. So cyst may be infected and it may lead to pus. Bartholin gland may be infected, resulting in Bartholin abscess. Infection may be due to sexually transmitted disease infect infecting agents, or it may be just by staphylococcus or other regions, so not necessarily it is STD. Bartholin cyst may develop due to blockage of the Bartholin duct due to any region. May happen in any age group and it has a recurrence tendency. So someone may develop Bartholin cyst or abscess maybe repeatedly in some individual. It may be enlarged up to 3 to 5 centimeter in diameter. So it may be large, 3 to 5 centimeter in diameter. That may cause pain because there may be infection, acute inflammation. We call it adenitis, inflammation of the gland. And may lead to discomfort. Even person has discomfort to walk, discomfort to sit. And this parunia, that is painful, sexual intercourse because this part is inflamed 
management by drainage of the fluid or abscess, marsupialization, permanently stitching the, the lining of the cyst with that of the skin or removal of the cyst depend on the condition and the choice of the gynecologist. Adenocarcinoma may develop in the Bartholin gland because it is lined by the glandular epithelium, that is columnar epithelium that may develop into adenocarcinoma. And that's all about the Bartholin gland anatomy and also some pathology, Bartholin gland cyst, Bartholin gland abscess. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends and please support my channel. Please subscribe me and have a nice day. Bye now.